Good morning! Hi, Hi friends! Hi! I am so sad that I missed the cookie judging last week. Pretty oh, cool. Oh my goodness, but Nathan seemed to be uh, quite the cookie expert. Oh, he sure was. Mm -hmm. He sure was. And I think he ate a lot of cookies after that, awesome. after he went surfing. It was pretty cool. I like well, it. we missed you, Miss Maggie. Thank We're you. We're so glad you're back. I'm glad to be back. And we are continuing our Sermon on the Mount. Here's our hill. And this week we are in chapter 7 of Matthew, verse 7. 7, 7. So this verse is about talking to God. So guess what? I'm going to put a talking speech bubble oh, like on that. our hill. Okay. Okay? It's empty, but we can fill it in with wherever we want. So I was just with Miss Anne at Start and Sanctuary. I hope you guys saw that. Mm -hmm. And she definitely was a little confused about oh. this verse. And when I read it, um, I think you might understand why. Okay, let's so, go. Here we go. Important stuff. So if you all have your Bibles out there, turn to Matthew, New Testament, chapter 7, verse 7. Here we go. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find... Knock, and the door will be open to you. Hmm. Whoa. Well, okay. Yeah. So it just sounds like if we just ask God for something, we will receive it, right? But, oh, what are we seeking? And what door are we knocking on? I know, right? Yeah, it does seem like that. It does seem like that. Jesus really wasn't saying God is like a magic genie ah. who will grant your every request Ooh. if you ask, and all you have to do is ask. No, this verse is about prayer. We've talked about prayer a lot, and here we are again. It's very important. So important. God hears our prayers, okay? All of them. All of them. So we have this really kind of cool video to watch right now that gives you a bunch of examples of how God heard prayers in the Bible, all throughout the Bible, Ooh, I like it. and answered these prayers. He answers them in different ways. So let's refresh our memory on some of these stories. You'll recognize them and watch our video about the power of prayer. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Let's go. God hears our prayers. Throughout the Bible, God heard people talking to him. God heard Joshua and the Israelites shout out to him as they marched around the city of Jericho. And God knocked down the wall so they could get in. God cares about the problems in your life too. Shout out, God help us. God heard Hannah pray for a baby. A year later, she had a baby named Samuel. Pray silently for a baby you know. David prayed all the time and God heard his prayers. When David had to fight against a giant, God heard his prayers and helped David win. Picture something that feels giant in your life. God cares about that. When Elijah had a contest to prove God is real and fake gods aren't, he prayed for God to light his altar on fire, and God heard his prayer. God sent fire from heaven. Repeat this prayer. God, I know you are real. Help my friends know you are real. In Jesus' name, Amen. When Nehemiah needed to rebuild a wall around his city, he asked God for help. God provided supplies and protected the people from enemies. They built the wall in 52 days. What is something that's hard for you to do? Ask God for help with that. 
talk with him silently right now. Daniel prayed so much, he got in trouble for it. When he was thrown into a lion's den, it seemed like he was a goner. But God protected Daniel so he could keep on praying. What's something that scares you? Talk silently with God about that right now. When Paul and Silas were in jail, they kept on singing and praying to God. God heard their prayers. He sent an earthquake to set them free. Thank God for answering your prayers like he answered Paul and Silas's prayers. Shout, thank you, God. All through the Bible, God heard prayers. And God hears our prayers today, too. Wow, all throughout the Bible, God heard people's prayers. That was so cool. What is something you have prayed for or something that you prayed for, you know, in the interludes in the video that you were given? What maybe something that seems impossible for God to answer or something you need God's help with? Let's thank God for always hearing our prayers and pray the prayer that you heard in the video. You ready? Excellent. Okay, let's go. Great power our heads. I'm going to pray it right now. God, we know you are real. Help our friends and their families know you are real. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, that's, that was a simple. great reminder of yeah. all the wonderful things God has done mm-hmm. and continues to do. You know, this verse says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. So let's look at the first part, ask. God wants us to come to him with any and all of our needs and wants. Even if it sounds a little wacky, he wants to know what's what, we're, what we want, what's on our mind. Now, does this mean that we will get whatever we ask for? No, I think we know that. But God knows what we need, and he knows what will be good for us, and maybe not so good for us. Even if we think it is good and perfect, and it will be awesome if this happens, he knows. He knows the timing of what needs to happen. We have to trust him. Yes, we do. God is in control, which I'm so happy about. Yep. And he will always answer our prayers, yeah. Miss Gail. So the next part of that that you said yeah. or read was seek and you will find. Ooh. So I am sure you have all played hide and seek before. Oh, we yeah. love hide and seek. Oh, yeah. You all probably know where the good hiding places are and where to look for your friends, where they like to hide. Yes. So if we want to find God and be closer to him, all we have to do is really seek him out. Ooh. Really try it. Put in the effort. So where do we look for God? Well, we can look in church, of course, or in the Bible. It's not hard to find God, no. but we have to be looking. Yes. We have to really be thinking about it and looking for him. This also means that we seek his will to be done. Right. We seek God's guidance for our life and his help in making our decisions. He knows yeah. what's best. That's so true. We, we want his guidance, not always our own. Now, I love this next part, knock. Jesus said to knock. Hmm. Well, when we think about knocking, um, we think about knocking on a door when, like, you go over to a friend's house oh, and you're yeah. going to go spend time with them. Yeah, my you dog knock barks. on the door, right? Dog barks you don't just that break happens. in. Mm-hmm. Yep. And your friend lets you in. Yeah. Come on in. So when we knock, we are asking to speak. Spend more time with God. We're knocking for God. God will always open the door for us to come in and be his friend. He wants to have a relationship with us. He wants to spend time with us. And Miss Maggie, tell me this. Who is your good friend? One of your best friends? You know Nancy is my best good Uh, friend since kindergarten. 
That's awesome. Like she you have sure Helen. is. Yeah. She sure is. Right. And when you first met Nancy, did you know what, say, her favorite color was or what she might be afraid of or maybe what her favorite hobby was to do, how to spend her time? Did you know these right off the bat? I mean, no, not immediately, but we would spend time together over all the years we've been friends. And yes. as we hung out and did things together and talked, our relationship got stronger and I knew these things. And you got to know each other better. Yeah, exactly true. the yep. same yep. thing goes with God. We've got to hang out with him. Yes, we he do. wants to hang out with us. That is how we get to know him spending time with him so true which is also reading the bible mm -hmm. sunday school praying and thanking god for everything that so we have important. it's such a gift god has oh. given us so many gifts right we got a big gift right here Ms. oh Gail. awesome to remind us. hello god is such a great gift and we need to appreciate all of these gifts. We need to appreciate God as part of our prayers. Oh, these, yes. This saying thank you. Yep, and all he's given us. Yes, yep. God hears our prayers because he is our friend. He's always listening. Does Nancy always listen to you? Mm, not always. Right? Do we Most always? Most of the time. Right, but you, we get distracted. We always aren't oh, yeah. really good listeners. Absolutely. But guess what? God is the best listener. He's yes. the bestest friend yep, ever. So true. It's so awesome. He cares about what we're asking for. He's listening. He cares about what we're seeking. He cares when we are knocking to invite him in. Yep. He is always there for us. You know, the cool thing about being friends with God, Miss Gale, he is available 24-7. Oh. That means 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I love He's it. He's here for us. This verse that we studied today is telling us that God will answer us. The answer might not come right away mm. or when you think you need it, mm -hmm. or it might not even be the answer you hoped for. Right. But God will hear us yes. and answer us according to his will and what's best for us. Yeah. He knows beyond all doubt what is best for us. We have to trust that. So yep. you know what? Let's pray in closing together and thank God that he wants us to ask and seek and knock. I love that. He cares about what we think. He does. Ah, oh, so awesome. Does. All okay. right, let's do it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for all that you have gifted us with. Please help us this week and going forward that we can ask you to supply for our needs and wants and also ask us to seek you on a regular basis, no matter where we are. Just seek out your will for our lives and your desire for us and our the pathways you want us to take and help us to continuously knock. Just never forgetting that you want to hear from us. Lord, bless these kids and their families as they go forward and bless our Sunday school and our church. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Okay. Wow, that's, I love it. This makes me feel so good. So now we can feel even better by yeah. worshiping Him, God, with some of our music. fun music videos about prayer and love all it. that good stuff. Okay. So please get up, get ready to sing and dance and worship God. And we will hope to see you very soon. Okay. All right, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.